Hello friends, a new case of probability distribution and again this time we are also going to study the use of concept of probability or probability distribution in real life case. The case given to us is a player tosses two fair coins. A player is playing a game where he tosses two fair coins. Fair means unbiased. He wins rupees 5 if 2 heads appear. This is something like gambling or winning monetary benefit from the game. He wins rupees 2 if 2 heads appear. Rupees 2 if 1 head appears. He wins rupees 5. I am sorry. He wins rupees 5 if 2 heads appear. Rupees 2 if 1 head appears. And rupee 1 if no head occurs. Even if no head occurs, he earns rupee 1 or he wins rupee 1. Number 1, find his expected gain. Number 2, how much should he pay to play a game if it is to be fair? That means if the game is to be fair. Now the main thing is two coins are tossed. And number of heads are our target event or success is to get the head. Two coins are tossed. So there will be... 3, 2 plus 1, 3 possible outcomes. One is no head on any coin, that means on both the coins, tail appears. Head on any one coin, on first or on second. And head on all the two coins. <coughs> and that will be the probability, rather respective probabilities of earning a gain of rupees 5, rupees 2 and rupee one respectively. So first we have to calculate the probabilities of number of heads appearing. The first is no head appears. That means what happens? Tail in first case and tail in, uh, tail in on first coin and tail on second. So it will be 1 by 2 multiplied by 1 by 2 that is 1 by 4. Now one head that means head on any one coin. And that is possible. Head on first and tail on second or tail on first and head on second. So it is 1 by 2 into 1 by 2 plus 1 by 2 into 1 by 2. That is 1 by 4 plus 1 by 4, that is 2 by 4. And 2 heads appear. That means head appear on all the two coins. And that is possible head on the first coin and head on the second coin. So it is 1 by 2 into 1 by 2. And that is 1 by 4. These are 3 mutually exclusive and exhaustive outcomes. Hence the summation of the probability should be 1. It is 4 by 4, 1. So number of heads, 0, 1, 2. Probabilities are respectively 1 by 4, 2 by 4 and 1 by 4. Now if no head occurs, a gain of rupee 1 is there. If one head occurs, a gain of rupees 2 is there. And if two heads occur, a gain of rupees 5 is there. Now this itself is the probability distribution of gain. Because gain is dependent on number of heads appearing. So now we can calculate expected gain. The first answer required. 1 in x into p of x. 1 into 1 by 4 is 1 by 4. 2 into 2 by 4 is 4 by 4. And 5 into 1 by 4 is 5 by 4. So it comes to 10 by 4. That is E of X. And we know that expected gain is expected value of X itself. Because X, the random variable is gain. That is 10 by 4 or rupees 2.50. The second question is how much should he pay to play a game one time? Game means one time. If the game is to be fair. Now if the game is to be fair. X 
एक्सपेक्टेड गेन सॉरी नेट एक्सपेक्टेड गेन शुड बी जीरो व्हाट इज नेट एक्सपेक्टेड गेन और एक्सपेक्टेड नेट गेन इक्वल्स टू द एक्सपेक्टेड गेन माइनस एक्सपेक्टेड पेमेंट इट इज जीरो इट इज टू बाय फाइव सो एक्सपेक्टेड पे कम्स टू रुपीज टू पॉइंट फाइव जीरो दैट मीन्स इफ द गेम इज टू बी फेयर the player should pay rupees 2.50 to play a game game if he pays rupees 2.50 to pay a game his payment will be exactly equal to the expected gain from the game and the game will be fair because the net expected gain comes to zero whatever he pays is exactly equal to his expected gain or expected 